Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mohamed Said with you again. In this video, we're going to learn about creating text. So let's get started with our new video. So just as always, we're going to open our new, uh, are going to open our Unity file. So just um, what we did in our last video, we created levels. So as you see here, we can move right and left. And there's a lot of obstacles when you hit one of the obstacles uh, you can't you cannot move anymore um, not right not left and not even forward so in this video we're gonna learn about how to create text and UI so let's get started uh, first of all to create text it's just as simple as anything else you can do over here but I'm not sure uh, like not a lot of people use it here we put it here in our level one in our scene so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna press on UI we're gonna find that there is a lot of options here you see a raw image button button um, text and text mesh pro so there's a lot of options here and um, so the most simple the, uh, the most simple one of them and the one that we're gonna be using is called text so when we press on text you're gonna see that here there's a new canvas and you see here this is our text um so you can rename it to whatever you want um i'm just gonna keep it default so it's gonna be um easier so okay i'm here um as you see uh, it's like it's 2d so you're not gonna be able to see it so like first of all you see here you can press on 3d object and bring a 3d text but we're using only ui so it's gonna be 2d so how we're gonna be able to see it is we're gonna press on 2d we press there you're gonna see here we are we're gonna say what is this so um this is kind of our screen this is our 2d screen so first of all what we got to do is we have to press on our text and press on f so here what we did is that we selected our text and then when we pressed on f it created a new text option so here um this is our screen the big box outside so okay let's start now what we're gonna do is I know it's a little bit small right now. Okay, I hope it's clear. It's not, so I'm gonna. Okay, now it's better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press on our text. Select. Um. Yeah, we're gonna press on our text, and we're gonna move it up. So select it and move it like this. So this is the position that we want it to be. Uh, the position of our text so i want it to be in the bottom um i want it to be in the top middle top so here it is in the top this is where it's going to be um like this where it's where it's going to be located when i press on game you see here it is but i think it's not quite centered yeah it's not centered so i had to do like that i think yeah we have to move it so here yeah this is the center uh you see here yeah now it's uh really centered but you see it's in the middle when you start when you uh use the full screen okay um i didn't do that that was just uh when i did that i was running so i'm just gonna come back okay so here it's back um uh, when i see here it's in the middle now what we have to do first we want to make it bigger so i'm gonna press on my text and i'm gonna come over here so i'm gonna press on font size here in the text here you can like change alignments and stuff so yeah i'm gonna press over here in my font size and i'm gonna make it 70 for example um but you see it's not clear over here because we need to make this even bigger and we, mean, we need to make like really 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 long because if um like one of the pro players playing your game um he got a really high score like 
you can't just cut it off so we have to make it bigger so okay i think that's correct i'm gonna come here and uh you're gonna see that there's no text i'm gonna put the text to be 250 so here 250 is the text um okay i think we need to make it yeah like this here you see it works but it's not in the middle so how to fix this is just go to your text and press on here and the alignment now you see it's exactly in the middle and it's like with big text but um there is one problem uh like the i don't really like this um I don't really like Arial, so there's a lot of other um, fonts you can use, but you can use any font you want, but I don't like Arial, so you can just choose a uh, font, so you can also download the Riboto font, it's uh, created by Google, and I really like it, it's simple and modern, so yeah, uh, we can download it, but first, uh, first of all, before we do it, like if you make this bigger it's always stick uh, it always sticks to the middle so what we have to do to fix that is i wanted it to be like i wanted it to scale so what we're gonna do here is in our canvas scaler in our canvas here we're gonna make it the ui scale mode we're gonna make it scale with screen size so yeah now it's better and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download Arial. Just go to Google and type in uh, Roboto. Yeah, sorry. Uh, download Roboto and you're gonna see it. Um, it's like Roboto is so simple. That's why I like it. So here I got this stuff. Um, so I'm gonna uh, select it and I'm gonna drag and come to my, okay. Now in my Unity, I'm gonna leave over here so you see this is where it is. Now I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it, um, where is the folder? Okay, create folder and I want it to be font. Okay, and here I'm gonna do this. Control, press all of them. Okay, I'm not sure, I think, yeah. I think I I copied them here. You have to select every single one of them. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. So now I did that, and now uh, I put everything in my fonts and my fonts folder. So okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our text and we're gonna go to our font we're gonna press in this circle and you're gonna see here we can choose from any of those fonts and unity automatically detects what is a font and what's not so um i detected that these are what we have so let's just um try thin i'm not i don't know this thing here uh roboto roboto okay let's just try yeah let's try this one this one it's yeah it's very bold so you can choose anything else you like um and let's see i'm gonna choose this one okay this one looks good uh at least it's better than ariel okay and now uh, one more thing we're gonna do is like we have to fix the height somehow so i'm gonna go to my canvas and i'm gonna press over here i'm gonna change this to um one so now it's so much better um i think yes something else we have to do is we have to put this up now it looks so much better than before but now what happens is that when we run of course because we have no code what's gonna happen is that it's just gonna say uh, stay 250 i just made it 250 because because uh, we're gonna have a better look at what we did so um how to make it count up is that we're gonna go to our text and we're gonna create um a component and we're gonna call it score and okay 
Um, now we're gonna open our score folder, our score script. Here we have it. Go to your assets. First of all, put it in your um, scripts, and then press on scripts, and now score. You see, like everything looks so much simpler. Everything is so simple now. Um. Okay. Oh, we're gonna remove this. And yeah, just like always, we're gonna move this. We're gonna remove those stuff. We don't need them. And now we're gonna start coding. So what we're gonna do is, um, okay. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna put another using script, another using uh, code, another using line. So I'm gonna call it using Unity Engine dot UI. So now we're gonna be able to. Um, control our UIs okay and after that what we're gonna do uh, just okay I think yeah and I just need the void update I don't need the void star um, sometimes you need it and sometimes not but in this case I don't so now I'm gonna say public transform player here um, okay And then play. Uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna create two of them. So what we wanna do is that we wanna have a link from our player uh, to here the location of our player. So we're gonna be able to control and play around with the location of our player. So here like that. And then I'm gonna do this. And now we need to add the new public. Um, a new public variable so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say public and want it to be public text as uh, score text okay and here uh, I think it's correct like that now we're gonna put this and now we're gonna start working inside of our void update so I'm gonna bring this up so it's gonna be better. I'm gonna bring this up. I don't like to have a lot of spaces, a lot of spaces. I just like it to be simple. I just like one space. So I'm gonna say here score text dot text. And after that, we're gonna say we want that to be equal to player position. Um, Player position dot c. So it's gonna take the position of our player on the z axis, I think. Yeah, on the z axis. Um, I'm not sure which one is going forward. Uh, I think it's the z axis. And then we're gonna say um, that it's not gonna work. So it's gonna tell you that yeah, that's a flow. So the flow won't work. So to fix that, Unity has a really, really, really simple solution to do that. So we can just say um, z to string. So what this is going to do is it's going to convert it to a string while working it out. So now it's going to be a string. And let's save. Um, we're going to go here. We're gonna go to our text. We're gonna fill in some blanks. So, uh, I think we haven't saved this. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think we haven't saved it. Uh, okay. I think there's supposed to be some stuff down here. So I'm gonna check and see what's the problem. Okay, so I just figured out that the problem is um, I forgot to put those parentheses over here. So hopefully that doesn't come in your way. So just put the parentheses and then we're going to come over here. Um, now what we're going to do is in our player, we're going to select our player and yeah, we're going to drag it over here. And the score text, what we're going to do is we're going to select our text and here we're gonna bring it down to our um, 
score text and then I'm not sure if we have any okay let's just run and see okay this is really good right now but the problem is it gives you decimal numbers it's really really exact which we don't need it to be that exact so why would the player even need to read the like the other than the whole number so what we're gonna do is that here we're gonna uh we're gonna type inside it we're gonna say zero that's only gonna make it the first number so it's only gonna be a whole numbers <clears throat> so okay i'm gonna run and we're gonna see what's happened okay this is so good right now so if you guys just see the improvement that happened the game now is so much better than we started um so yeah that's really cool so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that's it for this video see you in the next one bye